Hello, welcome back to my channel and to another weekly plan with me. It is actually pretty late on a Sunday night, which is not typically when I'm going to plan out my day, but I knew, or plan out my week rather, wow, I can't even talk. I knew I wanted to not only get my week planned for my mental health, but I was going to film it, which meant that I needed to do it today, tonight, while my daughter was already in bed, as opposed to saving it for tomorrow morning, which I may have been able to muster up while she was awake in the morning, but filming it would have been a little bit more difficult. So let's go ahead and get this week planned out. This is my weekly planning pad. It is a brand new one. I'm so excited, like there's so many pages. I just used the last page last week of my old one and I'm excited to start fresh. You can find this as always linked in the description box below. I also offer in a printable version if you don't want the physical copy with and without the times. And I'm, and there's a, I'm pretty sure there's a Sunday start version. I, my brain is not even functioning right now, so we will see how this video goes. We just got back from traveling over the weekend to go to a wedding. I say over the weekend, it was literally like in and out. We left Saturday morning, went to the wedding, came back today, and then of course had to unpack and get all settled. So let's start with the time task. I've been using these different, like a different brand. Y'all know how much I love my Zig dot markers, but somebody recommended that I try these and I have been liking them. The dot is a lot smaller, but sometimes when I'm working on something like this, that's not necessarily a bad thing. And But the, the big thing that I like about them, well, I like that the colors, there's a lot more options and they're a lot brighter. But what I really like is that this end is a lot thicker than the Zig dot marker. I don't know if that's gonna show up on the camera there, I don't know if it would focus. So when I'm doing like an outline, I like that this one is a lot thicker. So as always, I'm gonna do two colors, one for personal and one for work. So let's start with the personal scheduled things. We have appointment tomorrow and that we need to go to in the middle of the day, that's always fun. And then I'm not 100% sure I'm going to this, but I'm gonna put it on my calendar and hope that I can make it happen. Uh, what I will say is I did this by accident, I don't know if it was last month or the month before last, where I filmed a plan with me, and that was the video, and then the video immediately after that was a daily plan with me of that same week, so that you could see, like here's how I planned out the week, and then here is how each day turned out after that. That's what I'm gonna do on purpose now. So this video is this week's plan with me. The next video coming out next week will be the daily plan with me version. So you'll be able to see how I actually plan out each day and over the course of the week based on this weekly plan with me. And then on Thursday, I have another appointment. And I think that's it. Oh. That's definitely not true. And then we have gymnastics on Friday. One last personal appointment that I am going to put in. Well, I guess there's two things. I On Sunday night, y'all, I am both so excited, but also like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Uh, both the Tonys, if you are a Broadway fan, and the House of the Dragon are on Sunday night. So I'm going to put them both in my planner. I still have not figured out what I'm going to do about that. So those are the personal boxes. And then in terms of the work, oh, wrong side, the work scheduled items, we have the coaching call on, and this one is not quite as thick, Tuesday. They're also like these sides are like brand new. And so I'm kind of having to like work, work them down a little bit. Okay. Now, actually I'm gonna fill all that stuff in before I forget. Okay, so appointment. On Monday, dance class on Monday night, hopefully. And then community call, live, um, another appointment. And then I was gonna try and write the whole word gymnastics, but now that there is no way that's going to fit. So we're just gonna like put a little heart in here um, instead. And then we have uh, the Tonys and House of the Dragon. Let me know down in the comments. Obviously, by the time this video goes up, this will have very much happened, but I would love to hear. Are you a fan, Broadway fan, and you watch the Tonys, House of the Dragon fan? By the time this video goes up, we will be a couple of episodes into this season, so definitely no spoilers for our friends in the comments, but let me know if you're a fan. Okay, let's do... Oh, I was debating, do I want to do day by day or type by type? Let's do type by type, and let's start with the personal 
tasks. So I have, I'm gonna start with just, so I'm gonna put, I'm putting these at the top of the day. It doesn't mean that these are happening at 6 a.m. I'm just putting them at the top of the day so that I don't forget to put them in my planner and I can kind of prioritize them. You can see how the dots are definitely smaller than the zig markers, but they fit really, really nicely in these lines, like almost perfectly. So the first thing I'm gonna write at the top of each of these is to get my workout in. My goal right now is three days a week. It's not four days, but I schedule it for four days, knowing that one of those days, it's not going to happen. And then I have my weekly tasks that I do split up by the day. Um, so I try to do one per day, typically uh, Monday through Thursday, and then finish playing catch up with the rest of them on Friday. I did a whole video, a whole live about my monthly and weekly recurring tasks, but my parents-in-law, is that how you make that plural? My in-laws, that's probably easier, are coming. In fact, I should probably put that, I don't know right now off the top of my head what time their flight arrives, but it is sometime in the middle of the day on Thursday, so we'll just do that. Anyways, I've pushed some stuff up earlier in the week because I don't, I, well, I want to get some of the stuff done before they get here, like clean the floors. Um, but I, and I don't want to try and do them on Friday while they're here. And then Lila's room and the sheets. So those are all my weekly stuff. And then the monthly things I'm, I'm doing this week. <laughs> I almost said this month, but that's not how I tackle it. I do a couple of monthly things every week. I'm gonna put here on Wednesday, just so I'm not trying to cram everything in on Thursday. So we're gonna put those down, and I think that's it. In terms of personal, personal to-dos that aren't like task things that, like if they don't, it's, I, how do I explain this? So I'm also gonna make a to-do list of personal things, but those things don't need to happen on specific days these things need to happen on specific days. And then for the most part, these things, if I miss it, I miss it. Like I'm not gonna go back and do it. I'm just gonna wait until it comes up the next week. Um, whereas like the to-do list is stuff that I do need to get to at some point. That stuff will show up more in the daily plan with me. Okay, work stuff. So on Monday, well actually you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go ahead and put in all the dots and then come back. Okay, it is a relatively light work week, uh, partially because we have company coming, and then I also know that getting back into things from being out of town, I'm, I wasn't gonna try to cram in a bunch of stuff. So, as always, we have my communication routine that I do every day to respond to comments, texts, emails, all the things. And then on Monday, I also do the weekend recap. And then I need to get the new merch listings up and then finish prepping that video that goes with the merch. Yes, that video is going live that day, but it won't be live at its normal morning time. Uh, Tuesday, I need to prep the call. Don't know why that C turned out so weird. I need to finish up some content that I didn't finish last week and then edit this week's podcast episode, and then also get the replay up of the call. And then Wednesday, I need to prep the live, communication routine, recap of the live. I have a bunch of like miscellaneous work things. I did like this brain dump on the plane today of all these work things I need to get to, so that's what that is going to entail, and then plan the following. Okay, so that is the like scheduled, plan for the week. Now let's do the time tracker sheet. So this is how I track my work tasks, my work time, which I do this way for a couple of reasons. One, it holds me accountable to actually working on things because I get to check them off and track my time. I have definitely been struggling since becoming a parent to prioritize the non-necessity work things. Um, I get the bare bones done, and then I don't focus on anything else. So I've been trying to, sorry, I had to pause and count boxes. So by tracking my time, it helps me stay motivated to work on those kinds of things, is tracking it. So I, like I said, this week is kind of a light work week. That ended up looking a little funky, but 
this is not this is not art class. Anyways, the other reason I track my time is so that I can more accurately plan out my time in the future. Every week I print this out and I say I'm gonna rearrange something about it and then every week I freaking forget to do it. So I have my communication routine, my live, the call, the videos, and the podcast. I don't get as specific on here. Sometimes I do have these things broken down in other places that are a little bit more granular, like the actual steps I need to work on. Um, and actually one of the miscellaneous things that I have written down is to make some more granular sticky notes. That K ended up looking funny. So that I can just move things over if I only get part of the, the task done. Okay, and then in terms of estimated blocks, for each of these, I've got three, 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 two, four. Sorry, I have my computer like behind me and I keep turning to look at it, which results in pausing. Um, instead, of, I should have it in front of me. It would make things easier. Okay, this is a four, a three, and I actually have zero. I typically don't plan for miscellaneous because for me personally, I tend to overestimate how long things are going to take. I don't, that's just what has been the, what has been happening. And so I do end up doing miscellaneous things, but I plan for zero. This week I, I probably could have added in some time because of this like random brain dump list that I made. But a lot of these little tasks could also fall into other categories if I really wanted them to. But regardless, this is the, the general plan and then the way that this looks per day because of everything else we have going on is 6, 10, and 6. And then we will see how that actually comes to fruition. This is, a, like I said, a really late work week for me. Between coming back from being out of town and company coming, I just knew better. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about in this video, but I'm not actually going to plan it all out, I apologize, is my to-do list for the week. So I've been using this Erin Condren to-do list planner. I talked about it in my last plan, plan with me or a recent plan with me that actually like kind of exploded. It got a lot more views than my plan with me traditionally were. So I don't know what it was about that video that everybody liked, but I talked about this and I've used this in a couple of different ways. Sometimes I do days of the week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, weekend. And then sometimes I do it by category, like personal work, goals, monthly tasks, weekly tasks, next week. So a couple of things. One, I have learned I don't need my monthly and weekly tasks on this. They are on the weekly here. Oh, I just hit the camera. And that's enough. Like, I don't need them on here too. That was definitely getting repetitive. I also, typically for personal stuff, doing it like Monday, Tuesday, it, it can be good depending on what my week looks like. But I also know that then if I get off even slightly, it definitely demotivates me. So I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna map it out this week. So the way that I'm gonna do it is I'm going to put work and personal here at the top. And there was another video or there was another week, I don't remember if it was in a video or not, where I did work and personal at the top, but what I did was days of the week down the side. What I'm gonna do instead is like tiers. So number one tier, number two tier, number three tier. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brain dump list that I did on the plane and I'm going to, I did it for both work and personal and I'm going to put them into tiers. Why the heck did I write it over here? I could have definitely written it like here. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Like, like in the header category. Oh, well, the point being, I'm going to break it down. And so when I'm planning out each day, I am picking from the section that makes the most sense. I could have done this in a regular notebook and just like put it in order, but I actually think by grouping it by category instead of actually just like ranking it from most important to least important will be will be helpful. So I'm not gonna do that on camera, partially because I feel like I need a little bit of time to process it, partially because some of it I don't wanna share, and then Mostly because I'm exhausted and I am very ready to go put on my pajamas and crawl into my own bed. So that is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every week focused on helping you achieve your goals. Thank you so much for watching. Go out, go ahead. Wow. Why did that sound funny? Why did I say that word so weird?